the magical feeling of match day and the desire to lose yourself in the moment. That's what today is all about. A meeting of two talented sides ready to go at it in front of a capacity crowd, not to mention the eyes of the wider football world. We'll have the action on EA TV. Hello and welcome to a stadium that has a wonderfully old-fashioned feel to it, Goodison Park. I'm Derek Ray and my commentary partner, as always, is Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Everton versus Nottingham Forest. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, pinning the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully we get a really good game here. And this is the initial 11 for the visitors today. Well, the shape is the same, but they may play it in a slightly different way. And key to this game will be the fullbacks. Do they tuck in alongside their centre halves or look to support their wingers? I hope it's the latter. Tarkovsky. Everton moving the ball forward with purpose. Crossing into the middle. And off the post. Murillo. Toffolo. Well, he really is danger personified, but in this game, Stuart, what do you think we might see from him? Well, Derek, he's brilliant in the air, so expect crossing to be a big part of their game plan today. Making the pitch big, getting the ball out wide and deliver as many crosses into the box as possible. Murillo. And the ball with Boni. And a good tackle. Promising attack this. But nothing comes of it. Godfrey. And teammates around him. And the timing was perfect. Ball one. Hudson Odoi. Attacking with vigor. And possession seeded by Forrest. Garner Can they forge ahead? That was going in Played over and knocked out of there Godfrey able to skip past his man well that's how to do it inside your own penalty area making progress an effective cross great defending with the game level let's see what they can do with this corner Going short. Fine cross into the middle. Well, no danger now. Calvert Lewin. He's got to have a go here. And a decent save. Full credit.
He's driven in the corner. Could still be dangerous. James Garner. Godfrey. Nicely timed tackle. Morgan Gibbs White. Counter attacking, very much an option. And wasteful there from Forrest. Harrison. Onana. Not spot on with that challenge. Surely, in it goes! The goal for 1-0, and that changes the dynamic. Well, just look at this again. He moves the ball quickly, he gets beyond his marker, and he keeps his composure. It's an excellent finish. So, underway again here. One nil to score. Yates. Getting the better of his opponent. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. And he read it well defensively. Well, that's how to outwit your opponent. Teammates available. Foiling his opponent completely. Oh, well, chance perhaps. It could be up for grabs. Half time. That will close the book on the first half here at Goodison. You certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. And the ball is moving again, with Everton looking to build on a positive first-half performance. Godfrey Garner it's with Ducure well they keep passing away it's a perfect challenge Harry Toffolo how can he take them on and beat them? Well, the attack carried promise, but petered out. McNeil. Just cutting off the supply. This is a message for no Ali. No Ali can you please meet Jennifer. Well, a swift challenge and a throw-in coming up. Substitution time it is here. Hudson Odoi. And scope for them to produce something exciting. And teammates around him. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Thirty minutes to go then.
Ducure. And an astute piece of defending. Nicolas Dominguez. Well, no way through. James Garner. It's with Ducure. It did look on for them, but not to be. Toffolo. And they know they need to stop him. Able to skip past his man. Can he finish this? Oh, a powerful effort. Close. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Substitution for Everton. Coming off the pitch, number 37, James Gunn. To be replaced by number 27, Idrissa Duai. Into the final 20 minutes. Everton moving the ball forwards. What can they do from here? It might be. Well, they failed to get it away properly. Harrison. What a shame that he couldn't find the target from there. Songare. A move of promise on the flank. They are a goal down, but perhaps a chance to create something from this corner. And a substitution in the offing. Substitution for Everton. Coming off the pitch, number 22, Ben Godfrey. Coming onto the pitch. Number 18, Ashley Young. Delivering it. Well, not away properly. And reading it absolutely superbly. Ducure makes the move to the inside. McNeil and now Ducure oh that's a really good pass and far from the ideal cross keeper's ball all the way well that's how to keep the opposition at bay Toffolo and the minutes are ticking away as Everton try to see this out well it's been a tight game but I think they've been the better team they've just had that little bit more quality certainly in attack and of course they've been well organized at the back they just need to see this through now well didn't have much to work with but hitting the frame of the goal no he certainly hasn't got much of an angle but it almost paid off for him there it's a good effort Willy Bolly. We've been waiting to find out. Now we know a minimum of three added minutes here. Amadou Onana. And that will be that as the referee signals that this game is over.
And three points for Everton. What did you make of it all? Well, Derek, they didn't dominate the game by any means today, but overall they had the better of the chances and just about deserved their win. And I think it's fair to say he'll be happy with his own contribution in this game, Stuart. Well, he obviously scored the winning goal, but it was his overall performance that impressed me most. He was on fire today.